Hi, my name is Jamie. Today I'm going to walk you through setting up an IVR extension on the NetPlant hosted PBX system. Now here we have our demo client, a NetPlant test. We need to enter into our client. And here we have the list of extensions. Now we've set three extensions up so far. We've got our 001, 2 and 3. Now adding an IVR is exactly the same as adding a phone extension. So we need to go to add extension. We need to fill in the relevant details. And the only difference to creating an IVR extension is that we need to select IVR instead of phone terminal setup. So, as you can see, I've already done this with extension 003. So now we need to enter into that extension. And here we can see our options for the IVR. Now the first thing that we need to do for the IVR is set our time intervals. So if we go into our time intervals options, we need to create a new time interval. And what we're going to call this is working hours. This defines your office hours. So if you work in a normal office, 9 to 5, or whatever your working hours may be. So we'll type in 9 to 1700 in 24 hour clock. And we're only going to be working from Monday to Friday, from the first of the month to the last day of the month. If we click OK, we've now defined our working hours. Now anything outside of those working hours will be classed as out of hours. Okay. So now, if we go into our IVR setup, As you can see, our IVR is empty. We need to create three contexts. So we add our first context. We're going to call this entry. Now it's important that this box is ticked so the system recognizes that this is the first context that's going to be used. We click OK. And now you can see we've been given a list of options and commands within this context. But for now, we'll go back up a level and we need to add two more contexts. We're going to call the second context the same as our working hours that we defined. Back up the level once more. And our third and final context we'll call out of hours. We we'll go back up. So now we have three contexts. Now we'll enter into our entry context, which is the first to be used. We're going to go into our start option. Now within this start option, we have a drop down menu with a list of actions. Now the first action that we want the IVR to take is a time interval based jump. Now what this is going to do is when someone dials the IVR, this time interval based jump is going to decide whether it's in working hours or whether it's in out of hours. So, if the time interval is in working hours, which we defined, jump to our context, working hours. I'll jump to context, out of hours. 
and this is in position one because this is the first thing that the RVR is going to do. So we click OK. And this page just gives you a quick indication of what you've just set up. So in the time interval working hours, jump to the context working hours option or go to out of hours option. And now we go back up one level, you can now see that our start option is highlighted green and that's ready to roll. Now, we go up a level, we need to go into our working hours to define the actions. We go into our start option once more for our working hours. And here we're going to define the first step of our working hours. So if we go to our drop down menu of actions, we're going to play a sound file. And this sound file is going to say, Welcome to NetPlan. Please press 1 for sales, 2 for technical support and so on if you have more than two options. Now I've already pre-recorded the sound for this and um, we'll go through recording and uploading the sounds in another video but for now I'll just pull up my pre-recorded sound which is NetPlan Test, welcome and then we want to play that in the background so the customer can press the options on the keypad as the sound file is playing. If we were played in the foreground, the customer would have to wait until the sound file is complete before they could press the correct option. So we click OK. <clears throat> as before, just gives you a brief overview of what you've just set up. So if we go back up a level now. You can see again our start option has turned green, showing that it, it has become active. 